on this last episode of season two, Life in India. I had an eye, my, my, my eyeball was, my left eye was swollen. It, it felt like there was a ping pong ball shoved in. So I was basically like a pirate for at least three or four weeks. I, I don't know how long that was. Hey folks, welcome back to The Rajiv Show and I'm your host Rajiv Doreswami and this show aims to help those who are currently struggling in life and to remind you that life is indeed beautiful when you're inspired to make it your own. This is season two, Life in India and this is the season finale and this is the last episode of this season. It's called I'm Coming Home 2015. But before we get into this episode, I would like to remind you that if you're tuning in from YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And of course, click that notification bell to get updated from all of what's happening in my channel. And of course, if you're listening to this on Spotify and on Apple Podcasts, on Spotify, send some love to that uh, follow button. And of course, thank you so much for those who are tuning in. Uh, I want to celebrate uh, the 500 plays. Thank you so much for tuning in. I am really grateful to all those who are tuning in from all around the world. Shout out to everybody who's supporting this podcast. It means so much to me that you guys are tuning in and much love. So let's talk about this episode. This episode is a bit emotional because um, this was the, this is the final moment when I said, goodbye to one of my beloved country and it's been five years since uh, I've seen my country due to this pandemic I could not visit uh, India anymore and uh, let's begin from 2014 which was the final breaking point of my life of course, it was still a continue, continuation of the lost years where life was literally up and down basically every day. I had isolation. Uh, I couldn't talk to people. And um, of course, the year was bad, 2014. Uh, and uh, there were a lot of tra traumatic uh, events that took place. During that that uh, year, the loss of my grandfather, the loss of my father's friend, and then as soon as the funeral was done that week, I had an eye, my, my, my eyeball was, my left eye was swollen. And it felt like there was a ping pong ball shoved in. So I was basically like a pirate for at least three or four weeks. I, I don't know how long that was. And of course, that was my breaking point. I decided to come home. And I told my mother, because my mother was in Philippines at that time with my sister. I said, Mom, I'm coming home. Book, book a ticket, a flight, do whatever. I'm coming home. And then finally, it happened. Uh, there was a ticket that was sent via email. And... Of course, we had some few technical problems uh, with regards to some some aspects of the flight, which I cannot disclose with you. But aside from that, that was the final breaking point. And I decided, okay, let's go home. And here I am. I'm at home. And this is, uh, this is, it feels much different now. It feels different to be back home. And I don't want to get ahead of myself. Of course, I have another season where I cover the stories of my life from 2015 to 2020. With that in mind, thank you so much for those who are, who've been listening to the podcast from episode one of season two. Uh, I'm going to introduce this new segment. 
uh, for every season finale, which is the season end review. And in this season end review, of course, of uh, life in India, the things that I've missed in India is, of course, listening to cows, one, listening to cows in the morning, two, playing cricket, 330. Uh, three, heading to school in a school bus, the, the bus experience. Four, meeting confident people who brought out the best in me, who brought the A-game in me, and who gave me the confidence to speak my mind and express myself, which are, of course, my friends and family. Uh, being educated in a very well-established college uh, so sorry school high school huh. and then um, of course with the failures that came along with that is the humbling moments where I learned to pick myself up and dust myself off and remind myself that life has to move on and of course the most creative and destructive period of my life was of course the eight years of my lost years where I experimented a lot on my comics and my art and of course my music. That was where I got engaged in music and my love for my father who continuously supported me throughout the, throughout the last years, which I am internally grateful for. With that in mind, those are the best and the worst of me and the life lessons the life lesson that I learned from this episode is never give up. Uh, no matter who you are, there will be a pivotal moment in your life where your back is against the wall and the only decision is to come home. Take that route because there is no such warm, humbling feeling in life than it is to come home no matter how perfect you are and how broken society has made you you should always remember that home will always accept you no matter how bad society took uh, took you for granted with that in mind thank you again for all the people who are tuning in from around the world uh, I will be gone for two weeks, but don't worry. I'm, I'm still going to come back, and we're, we're going to have another new season, and it's going to be exciting. And, of course, to wrap it all up, India, for those who are tuning in from India, thank you. I love you. From the bottom of my heart, you've changed my life. Thank you so much. Cheers.